The 5 AM Club by Robin Sharma. Summary. You may create a morning routine, wake up early with the 5 AM Club, and carve out time for the self-improvement you need to succeed. The moment of least distraction, greatest peace, and most human glory is at 5 in the morning. Stop being like the other 95% if you want to be like the top 5% of people. Quit pressing the snooze button and begin each day with vigor and purpose. Try waking up at 5 a.m. to get more done and improve your physical and mental health. The 5 a.m. club author Robin Sharma is a leadership expert who enjoys assisting people in increasing their level of productivity. Most people find getting up at 5 in the morning to be fairly unpleasant. Nonetheless, if you want to jumpstart your regimen, this book will help. You'll have more alone time and a better mental state if you get up at 5 in the morning. In the 5 a.m. club, Robin Sharma illustrates how important getting up early is for success by using a made-up narrative about a rich mentor instructing a failing artist and entrepreneur. The billionaire claims to have the secret to the artist and businessman's success. His first instruction is that getting up at 5 a.m. will give your brain the advantage to succeed throughout the day when they come to meet him early the following morning. We have a certain amount of mental bandwidth. We use up all of this bandwidth when we spend our days on social media media, engaging in private conversations, and watching television. Even before the day is finished, we are unable to absorb any more information. You'll discover that if you get up at 5 in the morning, you can concentrate on one thing without as many interruptions and get a lot more done. Early in the morning, our brain chemistry is different. Early in the morning, the prefrontal cortex of the brain, which causes concern, stress, or repeated analysis of situations, briefly shuts down. It has also been demonstrated that the serenity of dawn raises dopamine and serotonin levels, giving you a sense of vigor and tranquility. Just be honest with yourself. What do you allow to occupy your mental bandwidth? Do you mean social media? The issues of other people? We can avoid these distractions and concentrate our energies by taking a moment to think about how we spend our time. To manage yourself, Balance your four internal empires. Don't solely concentrate on mindset is one important success lesson to learn. You can find equilibrium by thinking positive thoughts, but there are three additional internal empires to consider. In addition to your mindset, you also have 1. Health set, 2. Heart set, 3. Soul set. Your physical health is referred to as your health set. Simply put, Living a longer life is one of the best ways to advance in it. Your life will benefit greatly from your commitment to exercise, as you'll feel happier, have more energy, and experience less stress. Your emotional health is your heart set. You must be able to communicate your feelings and form healthy emotional bonds. Your spirituality is your soul set. Whatever your beliefs. Set aside some time each morning to talk to yourself. Keep in mind everything that makes you who you are and the reasons behind your actions. We neglect to genuinely connect with ourselves much too often in favor of getting sucked into the shallowness of life. Employ all of them in your quiet time at 5 a.m., and you'll be well on your way to a successful and balanced existence. Put it in writing. Write down your feelings for your head, body, heart, and soul and then swiftly underline each one. By doing so, you may check in with yourself and gauge your emotional state. Early risers should apply the 20 slash 20 slash 20 rule. What should you do when you get up that early, if you manage to get up at 5 a.m.? You might easily get up early and spend the time watching the news or scrolling through social media. But, Robin Sharma sets out the ideal strategy. According to the 20 slash 20 slash 20 rule, you should spend 20 minutes on three extremely worthwhile pursuits to make the most of your morning hour. You should exercise for 20 minutes after you get up. Make your body sweat by waking it up. The hormone cortisol, which causes stress and terror, is reduced by sweating, and brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, is released. Your ability to think more clearly is improved by BDNF which speeds up the development of new neural pathways and heals brain cells. You should spend the next 20 minutes reflecting and seeking inspiration in the quiet of the morning. Spend some time filling your journal with whatever occurs to you. Before you become sidetracked, 
pay attention to what you want from the day, and remember to practice meditation, which has been shown to lower stress and cortisol levels. The last 20 minutes of your class should be spent learning. Enjoy the day. Have a plan for how you want to wake up every day. Is it contemplating? Taking a run? Doing some reading? You can start to develop a morning routine that makes you happier by considering how you'd like to wake up. Additionally, give sleep a top priority. To be able to start the day early, getting a good night's sleep is essential. Maintain a regular schedule. Avoid using screens for a few hours before bed, and make sure you receive enough sleep for your body. Start with a productive morning routine if you're determined to elevate your life. Joining the 5am club can help you make the best use of your mornings, according to a thorough study.